Shepherdsville neighborhood is stunned, now looking for the answers to an unthinkable crime. Police say two young boys were killed by their own mother. Tiffany Lucas was arraigned in court this morning, charged with two counts of murder, and she will be staying behind bars on $2 million bond. Our Connor Stefan and photojournalist Eddie Hill take us to Bullitt County. Just past the Jefferson Bullitt County line. You don't expect this, no matter where you live. A community is grappling with the tough loss of two young lives. From neighbors who knew them. Just put yourself in these people's place and think, well, it can happen to anyone. And, you know. Two officers who tried to rescue them. I'll give you the cliche answer first. You know, it's part of the job, but it's the part that you dread. Uh, the part that you hope that you go your entire career and never see. Officers arrived at this home on Bentwood Drive around 11 Wednesday morning, where they rushed two young boys just six and nine years old to the hospital. They were alive and remained so until they got to the hospital. Police believe this woman, 32-year-old Tiffany Lucas, shot and killed her two sons. She's charged with two counts of murder. At this time, the Bullitt County Sheriff's Office is not sharing any information on the moments leading up to the shooting or what Lucas's motive may have been. Right now, she remains in custody at the Bullitt County Detention Center. You know, you know, whether you think it's mental illness, just pure evil, combination of both, you know, pick your poison, none of it's good. Uh, the result is horrific. It's hard to underscore the deeply somber feeling right now in this area. Neighbors tell us it was just yesterday that they saw the boys playing out front in a yard. They're living here since 2004. For this longtime neighbor who asked we don't show his face or share his name. You know, how do you think the neighborhood's reacting? Have you talked with neighbors about this? I talked to a couple of neighbors and they're kind of upset that they find two little boys got shot. You know, that's kind of upsetting. Nobody back here wanted to be here about kids getting shot. Nobody wants to hear people getting shot at all. It was shocking, actually. You know, we nobody ever thinks it's going to happen in your neighborhood. As a Bentwood Drive house stands empty tonight. Just love your family and, and, and hope nothing like this ever happens to anyone else. Those mourning the loss are looking past the act of what happened. Uh, you know, those kids went to schools. You know, those kids had friends. Those kids had had families and keeping close to their hearts the two young lives taken too soon.